Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Best and Worst of Disneyland. I'm Tyler Crouch, and joining me today is Katrina Manzoni. Hi everybody. And Thomas Bell. Hello. Thomas Bell? Yeah, mm. I'm My going goodness. with the Thomas today. He's, He's in trouble. Uh -huh. I just don't know his middle name, so. Kick. Yeah. Kick it away. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we, uh, our, our episode today is going to be about our little hidden gems at Disneyland. We have four top hidden gems at Disneyland, uh, and these are kind of special places that are not necessarily, you wouldn't notice them, like if you just went to Disneyland a couple times, mm -hmm. they're kind of more hidden, well, by the name, hidden gems, they're just kind of like secretive, and, but they're, that go. yeah, but they're very, <laughs> yeah, please do, but they're very like unique, and they kind of like put a smile on your face when you really get to know they're there, and so, yeah, these are our, our Four hidden gems. And why don't we kick it off with number one? I mean, they're in no particular order, but of course, I just... I do like this one, like, probably the most. Yeah, well, uh, no, yeah the maybe. The first two are kind of, like, kind of equal. But anyway, okay. let's kick it off. All right. Yeah. So, the Snow White Wishing Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I adore this. So, like, when you're going through the castle, mm -hmm. it's off to the side, and I think it's just kind of one of those... I think it's very romantic also, but... Aww. I don't know. But I, I just think it's very beautiful. You can hear her, you know, in the well, and you can kind of hear her, you know, wishing and stuff. And you can throw money in there, and you can, you know, the and then like the fountains go off, and it's just so magical yeah. and beautiful. And yeah, so most of the time when you're over there, there there's not, you know, well, first of all, there's the whole waterfall, and it has statues of the whole of all the seven dwarfs and everything. But for the most part, it's quiet over there. But then every now and then you'll hear a gong, and then. Uh, I'm Wishing will start playing from uh, Snow White. And the really cool thing about it is, just like Katrina said, is that she's, you can hear her singing from the outside of the well, but then, just like in the movie, <laughs> when the well sings back to her, you can... Yeah, exactly. That wasn't bad, actually. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but just like in the movie, uh, when, when the well sings back to her, the well actually, you can hear the sound coming out of the well. And so that's one of the really cool aspects to me. And like you said, the, the fish fountain starts going. And I, there's just, it, it is romantic. Yeah. And then at night, it's just, you don't think about it in the day, but at night, they're, you know, the seven dwarves are in their mine. And, well, not in their mine, but they're around their mine. But it, in the mine? It, it, in, in the, like, in the mine. <laughs> and uh, and it mine. lights up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, but it lights up at night, and I think that's really where, You mean where a million diamonds shine, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. absolutely. Lord Fathers. <laughs> Lord Fathers. <laughs> dad jokes, dad yeah. jokes. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not like, a father yet, but... You father to a cat, so that's nice. Okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> my, my, my little boy is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of him. No, I love Aww. Batman. Batman's a good cat. Overall. You rescued him. I know I did. He's so, a good cat. So, anyway. Okay, enough about Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah I, this, the wishing well is an amazing place, and the other cool thing about it mm -hmm. is um, there's a lot of characters that'll meet over there. Mm -hmm. So you can find. Oh my gosh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You, you can find like some of the evil characters too. Like I've seen the evil queen meet over there a lot. I've seen Peter Pan meet over there a lot. I've seen um, the fairy godmother meet over there. So. All mice. sorts of kind of like, mice. yeah, mice yeah. and stuff. Right. So actually, like more rare characters will go over there occasionally, mm -hmm. and it, and it's just a very quiet place um, to grab a picture, see some characters, listen to the music, get away from the crowd, and it is and a hidden shaded, gem, if you will. Yeah, it's shaded. Yeah. yeah, it's I I and then you can get some great shots of the castle in that angle too. Oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. like the best angle of the castle because you, really you nice. can get it without people in it. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah when times. they yeah. instead of like going through, yeah. and also like. Even we were talking about the special characters, and I I've seen this happen a couple times where the evil queen like like hangs out in the shadows in the corner sometimes and tries to scare people when they're nice. like heading to the wishing well and when you're like coming from the backside of the castle going over to the side and she she likes to hang out there and then she like does her cape thing and like flashes it in front of people and like I swear if she, she does flashes what she, she flashes I know. <laughs> and uh, so I yeah I so sometimes you'll see like them do like special things so I yeah. Like it. Very cool hidden gem. Let's move on to number two. <laughs> All right. So in the same area, the Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty walkthrough. Uh, I think that is, sometimes you don't see it. Uh, you don't really uh -huh. think about going through the castle. You might not 
I don't know, like you just see the castle, right, you're like, right. hey, it's a castle. Yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. you can walk through it well, and see the story of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, and I know a lot of people who just come to Disneyland for the first time or have never been before, they're always like, is there anything even in that castle? Like, yeah, it's a castle, but it, is there like a ride in there or what? And, and to a certain extent, I think it's actually cooler than a ride since it's such a unique thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for those that don't know, mm -hmm. you know, you alluded to it, you see the story of Sleeping Beauty, but the way they present that is by doing uh, all these different dioramas. Mm -hmm. And the dioramas aren't just like a shoe box like you'd find in fourth grade. It's actually like, <laughs> it's actually like, you know, they add projections into it, mm -hmm. and there's different special effects, and there's some moving parts, and um, I mean, they redid it, I don't know, what, what was it, probably 15, 10 years ago or something at this point. Yeah, they but, shut yeah. it down for a while, yeah, and they yeah. brought it back. Yeah. Um, but it is really cool to see, and it's something that is super cute, it's full of all these little secrets and tricks and stuff that like you won't necessarily notice the first time you go through but yeah, take your time when you go through oh that. my gosh yeah. please yeah. take your time there's yeah. even i we had to wait there was one time where we have never seen a guard there's an area when okay, you go yeah. through the castle yeah. when the guard like the 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 bad minion guard yeah. i don't know what yeah, they're yeah, really yeah. called the yeah. pig people they pop their head up and they like look at you in like the window and yeah. i've never seen it he's never seen it so people were just like walking through the castle and they look at us and like what are you doing in here and we're just like waiting in mm -hmm. front of the door and they just don't think about it they just see like the spear walk by and then but sometimes just randomly yeah pop its head up and you're yeah. like oh my god there it is yeah and then there you, it is then you go on your way yeah that's in the <laughs> that's in the corridor of goons but uh, goons, there the yeah. goons yeah the goons like, the yeah people. i knew it was a g something yeah, like yeah. 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 So uh, there's all sorts of fun things like you can see Maleficent's shadow on one of the walls and stuff, and you hear. It oh, laugh that's so and, cool! Yeah, well, and it doesn't like projects on the ceiling or something, doesn't it? As you're walking through the. Well, it goes on the yeah. it goes on, it on the, the wall, wall when you're okay. like going so down the stairs. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's yeah. really cool stuff yeah. like that, and even pay attention to the book at the end of the mm -hmm. of the entire walkthrough mm -hmm. because like fun thing happens with that too. That's like if you know the movie, it's actually really funny. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that walkthrough is something that you won't even know it's there unless somebody tells you, but it is something not to be missed. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, I would actually, I actually prefer it to like the Cinderella restaurant in Cinderella's castle, you know, I mean, to me, to me, I would rather go through the walkthrough than see, because I just think it's so unique. It's, I yeah. mean, you know, it, I mean, we don't have princess dining anymore at the Disneyland Resort. But Which I'm kind of bummed about. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I would, I would take the walk through any day. Honestly, I, I really do enjoy it. Um, I think it's a victory if I can get a reservation at Cinderella's table. It's yeah. like victory. But also, this is, is I like this to like walk through. I mean, Cinderella, you can do it probably once and you're good with it. Yeah, that's But I can I do this over and over and over again, yeah. and it never gets yeah. old. Yeah. And just one final thing about this too is that mm -hmm. it's you have to. It's not ADA compliant. It right. is only stairs. So you have to be able to walk up and down stairs to do this thing. But the good news is, if you can't make it up the stairs and you really want to see it, they do have a video right downstairs underneath. It's like basically in the entrance to the castle. And um, that will show you a video that is basically the entire walkthrough. And, and it even shows you all the storybooks and all of the different um, dioramas and things like that. Mm -hmm. So if you can't make it into the walkthrough itself, don't be scared. You can make it. You can make it into this little room here. And, and the watch room is it. really neat too. They decorate it fantastic. Like you're actually yeah. like walking into the castle. It's not like some plain room where they put right. a video up. It's it's actually really nice. I like to look yeah. at all the cool jewelry they have and treasures they have. Okay, let's move yeah. on to number three. All right, so right down the way, there's a lot of good treasures around that little uh, yeah. Sleeping Beauty area. So the music box in Fantasy Fair. You might not see it when you walk through. So when you go to Fantasy Fair, you see like the Rapunzel Tower. You just keep going kind of like right over there and there's like a little hunchback of Notre Dame music box and you just keep spinning it and you know the song plays and the gesture goes around and you know it just and then if you keep looking closer and closer at the pictures because it's like a crowd what's the what's the song from Notre Dame? It's Topsy Turvy. Topsy Turvy. So there's like a big crowd and you can keep looking and there's like all these like little secret characters you can find in there and like people that actually helped with what is it? What did the people? Well, there's the people there's a definitely like designed? yeah. There's a couple Imagineers in there I mean, who actually designed yeah. Fantasy Fair, and like one of them, I'll just tell you, has some glasses on, and <laughs> I can't remember his name. I actually met him at a certain point, but um, he, but yeah, it's cool that they have these little secrets in there, and you can just kind of stand there and play with the music box for a while, and 
there's just, it's something that you wouldn't, again, you wouldn't notice it just right off the bat. You wouldn't be like, right. oh, what's that over there? Right. I need to go check that out. But it just adds that little bit of magic to your day that just makes it like, you know, it brings the area to life, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think is the best way to say it. And it's just very cute. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think that's like my theme. I've been saying cute, cute for everything, but, it's cute. but um, <laughs> I think that, it, I think that, you know, that goes a long way, actually, being something being cute. So. Surprised the dad of a cat didn't mention the cat in Fantasy Fair. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. 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 We, that's true. Figaro. So, <laughs> Figaro, that's true. You want to talk about it? Oh yeah, uh, just around the corner from the from the music box, Figaro's up on the up on the ledge, and yeah. every once in a while he wakes up and the bird goes and yeah, tweets. the bird tweets and yep. It's I does I mean, the bird it's really have a cool. name? I don't think the bird has it. Okay. I think it's just bird. I think it's, uh, it's, bird. it's called lunch. It's called lunch. lunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there was no. I don't think there was a bird in Pinocchio, mm. so I don't know. I mean, I know that there's <clears throat> Cleo, the fish, yeah. but but maybe you know, maybe he doesn't want it for lunch because he was friends with Cleo. Sure, I don't know. sure. You know, who knows? <laughs> but maybe it was just a tumultuous relationship, and we never knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the sequel. Yeah, <laughs> Pinocchio two. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to our last and final, number four. All right, so this one's a big one, uh, Toontown. We couldn't really specifically say what, like, one thing that you need to do at Toontown. It's just that whole area is full of treasures. Mm -hmm. And there's doors you can open and, you know, like electricity or glass breaking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you press, like, this is like a kid's wonderland. I feel like if I was a kid and I, used, and I would, like, you know, you know, like, press the doorbell and sounds mm -hmm. happen and... Look at the windows. The windows are fantastic and magical. Like it's sometimes, as an adult, you look at the windows and you just start laughing because you're just like, ha, I never even thought of that. Like there's a Walt Disney mm -hmm. one, and then there's like one for Peg Leg Pete and um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Peg Leg Pete sells prosthetics mm -hmm. if you want to know what he does <laughs> nice. for a living. So well, okay, so that's a lot of that's in that one corner. But if you go over by Mickey's house, the fountain over there. I love the fountain. It's it's like it's in musical instruments, but then on the ground there are little plaques of musical instruments, and if you step on them, they make the sound. Yeah. That's right. Just, they sound like they're dying, but they <laughs> yeah, do yeah, make yeah, a sound. Yeah. <laughs> they make a like, funny right, noise, that's right. for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, one of my favorite things over there, as Katrina alluded to, was the is the electric company, and you and you open the door, and 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 like it's just it's like you're getting electrocuted in them. Have you ever baked a cake in Minnie's house? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was one of my favorite things when yeah. I was a kid. Is like yeah. going in there and watching the cake rise yeah. and fall. And so it, she it, she has her own fountain too. That's true. She does. Yeah. yeah, she has her own little well back there, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah. what, that's what I meant. Yeah. So Push I mean, well. there are so like to, yeah, Toontown is very is very big, and yeah, it's hard to just say oh yeah, Toontown's a hidden gem because everybody knows Toontown is there, but it's all of the little small things within mm -hmm. Toontown that really make it shine. Mm -hmm. I mean. That's, it's just so many, got so many different little doodads and doohickeys that actually make noises and stuff that it's like, um, <laughs> and actually one of my favorite things too is over by Goofy's gas station. As we keep talking, we keep thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, keep yeah. thinking yeah. of more. Goofy's, over by Goofy's gas station, they have uh, Goofy water mm -hmm. and it, they're just water fountains, but... Um, they used to, ch the water used to change color, like there used to be lights in it, but that doesn't do that anymore. But now it, it has sounds. So oh, every, okay. Yeah, so every time you turn the drinking fountain on, you hear sounds coming up through the drain. It comes <laughs> up through the drain. It's, it's, so that's one yeah, of my favorite yeah. things about it is that it's coming through the drain and it's a different type, and they have this list of different waters that they could be. <laughs> and so it's like, it's all the same water, but, right, it, yeah. but it's, just, it's just a really fun little touch. And I love the goofy water. It, just a lot of little, there's a lot of little hidden secrets in Toontown that are really worth exploring for, I think. Yeah. So. Save Toontown. <laughs> oh, don't even, don't even go there. <laughs> I uh, love that hashtag place. save Toontown. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there we go, everybody. That's, that's our top four hidden gems in Disneyland. Uh, let us know what you think. Are there any hidden gems that we missed uh, that that you can think of that we did not? Yeah. And because uh, I'd like to, I'd like to, yeah. Well, but but hold on one second. All right. <laughs> but I, I would like to hear what you have to say about some hidden gems because it it was actually we wanted to think of more, but but it's actually harder to think of than you would think. But um, yeah, that's but, true. There's a couple in Adventureland that I I do really love, but I I these. The ones that we chose are like a little bit more like interactive. 
Yeah. You know, that's like the hidden gems that I love are the interactive ones. Okay, so let's now let's go through the the the, the recap. All right, so the Snow White Wishing Well, and then we're gonna do the Sleeping Beauty walkthrough in the castle, and then head over to Fantasy Fair and check out the music box, and then lastly, Toontown. Save Toontown. <laughs> I love that place. I know, now Tom's gonna make a thing. <laughs> uh, everybody's gonna be like, what's happening to Toontown, right? I know. What Nothing's did you do? Happening Nothing's to happening to Toontown Yeah, it's fine, yes. it's fine. Except that's, that you can see, the, that's the, yeah, that's the, you yeah. can see Galaxy's Edge in the distance, but mm -hmm. other than that, it's another town. It's just this is Toontown, and that's like Galaxy's Edge Town. It's like another place. Galaxy's Edge Town. <laughs> Star Wars Land. <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you for joining me, mm -hmm. and thank you all for joining us. And we'll be back next week, same time, same place, with another episode of Best and Worst of Disneyland. Bye, everyone. Bye.